Good morning. It is September the 20th, and we got a good one going for you today, as Steve Harvey would say. The Gary Cook Report, What's on Our Mind Today, is related to the subject line of the email I got from my Aunt Barbara. Who do you think you are? Well, maybe she didn't say it like that. But anyway, her email went on to reveal how we're rescind descended from royalty in England. Now, Aunt Barbara recently did some studying on English history after she first discovered that we we're related to John Alden, the guy that was on the Mayflower, that John Alden. And so going back to 1620, so a little bit further, she ended up going back 30 generations because once she found out that the link to us, to John Alden, was a winner, was real, she then went on and she sent the email and it starts in tracing your aristocratic, aristocratic, that's the word, aristocratic ancestors. And this is a book by Anthony Adolph. He's a professional genealogist in the UK, UK, England. If you have any British ancestry at all, then it is virtually impossible for you not to have at least a small dose of aristocratic aristocratic blood so working back to our family tree our own family tree a number of ancestors doubles each generation just going back to AD 1200 we would each have over 33 million ancestors but since how the population of England was maybe about 2 million in 1200 then King John who was the king from 1167 to 1216 Remember the Magna Carta? He's that guy. Signed the Magna Carta. So statistically, li statistically likely to be the ancestor of everyone of Britain descended living today. So there is a very real benefit to discovering our arist aristocratic connection, a fantastic, ready-traced family history that might stretch back centuries. So... And her looking, she discovered we're descended from William the Conqueror. Now, the reason that's a big deal, William Conqueror, he won the Battle of Hastings in 1066. And he went on to build the Tower of London, which that famous landmark, everybody's been to. I've been to it once. It was kind of cool that I found that out. So in England, under what they call primogeniture, I think it's pronounced. And there's a link there in the show notes. You can go and find out more about that. The only beneficiaries of arist aristocratic blood were going to be the senior heirs. The daughters of the king would marry an earl, and their daughters would marry a knight, and on down to merchants and clergy. The early immigrants to America, though, were, mer were motivated by religion and not about class distinction. So it didn't matter if you were descended from an earl or, or any of that stuff. Just what religion you were. How you got on the boat. So, she sent a bunch of attachments, which I haven't shared here because it would be just too hard to do. And the family of my grandmother, going back 30 generations, about a thousand years, goes back to those kings. And she looked it up in family search. And she looked it up in another online venture. And both of those aren't credited as being the real deal as far as being valid genealogical research. So she said, fine. So she went to books. She found out all these items of interest I've got there in the show notes. Oh, it's family search and ancestry websites. So she went on and verified each person in our line with the information from the books that she's listed here in the show notes. And there, I'll highlight that collection right there. Those are the books we're talking about that validate and substantiate the claims that she's made about our ancestors being descended from that. So she said if she wanted to go back far enough, which she's not going to do, we're also defended from Charlemagne. She's got us descended from Scottish kings, from English kings 
and it's all in the show notes and it was a way cool thing to get on my birthday when i turned 66 i also found out that i was related to royalty very nice thank you aunt barbara so continuing on take a look at the guy cook report questions answer five of those and we'll schedule your interview and we'll make you more transparent there's a planning session guide link thanks to all the people that will be patrons of the buck guy cook report couldn't do it without you thanks to fraser ramsey happy holiday he's leaving today on his vacation eileen smith from basic blog tips there's pearls in that oyster and she is she's called the digital diva for a reason she shares good information the friends just chatting facebook group mentioned them a good group of people started by kelvin fagan my previous co-host take a look at all the rest of the links there and scroll down through the show notes and you'll get to the bottom where it says thanks for listening to the 920 episode the guy cook report what's on our mind and that's when i say it's a wrap